Parker. Perhaps the most chilling thing was the music. It was a song of healing, ripped straight from the game itself, but played in reverse. The music would get louder, building up so you would expect something to pop out at you, but nothing ever did. And that constant loop began to wear on my mental status. Every now and then, I would hear the faint laugh of the happy mask salesman in the background, just quiet enough so that I wasn't sure if I was just hearing things, but just loud enough to get me determined to find him. I looked in all four zones of Clocktown, only to find nothing, no one. Textures were missing. West Clocktown had me walking on air, and the entire area felt broken, hopelessly broken. As our reverse song of healing repeated for what must have been the 50th time, I just remember standing in the middle of South Clocktown, realizing I had never felt so alone in a video game before. As I walked to the ghost town, I don't know whether it was the combination of out-of-place textures, the atmosphere, and the haunting melodies of the once peaceful and soothing song being butchered, distorted, but I was literally on the verge of tears. I had no idea why. I, I hardly ever cry. Something had me gripped here, and this powerful sense of depression was both foreign and crippling. I tried leaving Clocktown, but every time I attempted to zone out this to to another part of Clocktown, it would just fade to black, and I would be in another part. I tried playing my ocarina. I wanted to escape. I did not want to be here. But every time I played the song of time, or the song of soaring, it would only say, Your notes echo far, but nothing happens. By this point, it was obvious the game didn't want me to leave. But I had no idea why it was keeping me here. I didn't want to go inside the buildings. I felt that I would be too vulnerable there to whatever I was terrified of. I don't know why, but I came up with the idea that maybe if I drowned myself at the laundry pool, I could spawn somewhere else and leave this place. As I zoned in and ran towards the pool, that's when it happened. Link grabbed his head and the screen flashed for a brief moment of the happy mass salesman smiling at me. Not Link, me with the Skull Kid scream playing in the background. And when the scream returned, I was staring at the Link statue that appears when you play the song, Elegy of Emptiness. I screamed as the thing just stared back at me with that haunting facial expression. I turned around and ran out and back into South Clock Town. And to my horror, the fucking statue followed me. The only way I can compare this is like the weeping angels from Doctor Who. Every so often, at random intervals, the animation would play of a statue appearing behind me. It was like the thing was chasing me, or I don't even want to fucking say it, haunting me. By this point, I was on the verge of hysterics, but not even once did the thought of turning off the console occur to me. I, I don't know why. I, I was so wrapped up in it. The terror felt all so real. I, I tried to shake the statue, but it would literally appear right fucking behind me every single time. Link began to start making weird animations I, I had never seen him do before. He would he would flail his arms around or spasm ra randomly, and the screen would cut to the happy mask salesman smiling again for a brief moment before I was face to face with that fucking statue again. I ended up running into the swordsman dojo and ran to the back. I don't know why, but I, I panicked. I just wanted some kind of assurance that I, I'm not alone here. To my dismay, I found no one, but as I turned to leave, the statue cornered me in the cubby in the back. I tried attacking with my sword, but no avail. Confused and backed in a corner, I just, I just stared at the statue, waiting for it to kill me. Suddenly... The screen flashed again to the happy mask salesman, and Link turned to face my screen.
standing upright, mirroring the statue, looking at me along with his poppy, literally staring at me. Whatever was left of the fourth wall was completely shattered. Yeah, creepypastas can be creepy and all, but you know who can be even creepier? Lord Duck. Lay Lord Duck!